All right, I am back. Um, oh, leapfrog surrounded. This is different. Um, okay, so I'm trying to go and learn a bunch of Strago lores, and I believe leapfrogs have something for me. Um, I don't know. I've got Gao in my party, so I'm a little bit, you know, scared to. Uh, um, To just, you know, set them off on, on a rage. I uh, believe these guys should have Rippler. Let's see if I can go and sketch one. I've got a uh, Realm in the party because she makes uh, getting some lores uh, very simple. Alright. Sticky Goo. That's a different one. There we go, Rippler. Status effects changed. Let's just get rid of these guys now. I should have selected the other two, but whatever, it's fine. Gao will take care of them. Uh, no, Gao's magic is terrible. Shadow will take care of them. Alright, there we go. Learned Rippler. I believe Rippler goes and reduces, um... Exchange, okay. I thought this was Discord. I, I, I switched Discord and Rippler. Discord is halves the level. I was about to say that this did too, but... This swaps status effects with those of the caster, so... If you've got, like, really terrible, uh... Sass effects on you, and the other guy is really buffed up, well, this just kind of provides a way around that. Now, I have Gao in the party, and I don't really uh, remember, but I think Land Ray here has something for uh, Strago as well. Mighty Guard. This casts Protect and Shell across the whole party, which is, uh, honestly, very good. Um, it, I, I remember it especially from, uh, um, Final Fantasy X, because it shows up, a version of Mighty Guard shows up there. I mean, Mighty Guard's a pretty, uh, sort of standard, I guess, ability. Oh my goodness. Greater Mantises, really. Turn apart. All right, so... Gao used Mighty Guard, and that taught it to Strago too. Um, because of that, like, and because I've done all the grinding with Gao, I might as well just use him to teach the abilities. Um, now, oh wait, I wanted to, uh, let's see, yeah, yeah. Because I've taught Gao all these, uh, all the rages, that will teach these, you know, these lores to Strago. I'm, I've kind of put in the work before, so I, I'll, I'll include a link um, to uh, a couple websites where you can go and find uh, Strago lores and the enemies that go and give them. Um, I, I believe that if I would used uh, Leapfrog with, uh, with Gao, uh, I could have taught Strago Rippler that way as well. Um, so just, just putting it out there that I've gone and put in some extra work and it's kind of paying off now. Um, but if you don't want to go and do that, there are other ways of, uh, getting around this. So now I want to go and, uh, I think it's, is it Luring Rider? Ooh... No, no, no. Okay, well, I can go do NUO. NUO? This guy has something, I believe. NUOs can be found in the, uh... In the ancient castle. Tsunami? I don't think is it. Um...
All right. All right. Now, this might not work with all enemies, because not all enemies that Gao uh, picks up can transfer their lores, I believe. Let's look for a uh, clean sweep. Oh, that, that was the, the name of the old uh, enemy. Oh, no, it was Tsunami. Oh, okay. All right, well, there you go. Learn Tsunami. I wasn't... I... I, like I said, I'm, I'm using a couple different guys. One's from the old SNES version, so the names of different abilities and enemies, too, have changed. So, I was uh, honestly not expecting... Uh, not expecting Tsunami to be one of the lores. Um, shows what I know. I, I never use Strago lores, honestly. Uh, it's... I just don't see it being, you know, that much of a, a game changer beside like the other magic options that you have available to you to go and use. I'm gonna go and equip everyone with espers just in case uh, they level up. Uh, I'm still going and uh, sticking. Uh, should maybe go stick Fenrir. Get some more uh, MP. Um, yeah, so let's see. Abilities for Strago. Uh, I want uh, Bad Breath, I think. Yes, and the best way to get that is from the Marlboro. Uh, where's the Marlboro located in the Rage? Just gonna go look for Marlboro. There it is. So next to Sand Horse and Dark Side, about uh, two fifths of the way down. All right. I'm just grinding over, or, or I'm just performing this over here, uh, kind of outside Miranda. It was where the re Reach Frogs or the Leap Frogs were, so that's why. Okay, so Rage. Uh, we have to go up to t about two fifths. Did I miss it there? Malboro. All right. Malboro has a very useful um, ability. Hopefully, uh, Shadow isn't too strong. Bad breath. There we go. Very good at applying status effects to things. And now, Strago has learned bad breath. Uh, that's kind of funny sentence to say. Oh, and I've got an achievement in the bottom right. I don't know if you can see that, but Steam just popped up. That got Master Blue Mage. Uh, I think that's for uh, getting 25 lores with Strago or something like that. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 rages. My bad. All right, I'm going to be... Uh, right back. Uh-oh. That's a bit of a bug. Um... Strago learned stone twice. Um... That honestly scares me a little bit. Um... Yeah, 
Yeah. That scares me a lot, honestly. I'm gonna go and uh, go back to my last save. Um, which wasn't too far back. Um, because I want to make sure that Strigel learns all his lores, and I don't want Stone taking up two spots. I'm probably gonna include this, just to show that there's a weird bug here. Alright, so let's, uh, take this one carefully. Um... I think I need to isolate the, uh... Uh oh. You know what? That's 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 fine. I'm I'm okay with this. Uh oh. Is Shadow attacking? Okay, anyway, I want to destroy one of these guys. You're going to cast Doom again. Oh, okay, that's just Doom, not... Uh... Alright, let's cast Fyra. Fyra? There we go. Level question mark holy. And let's hope that uh, Strago learns it there. Yes! Alright! Alright, alright, alright. Okay, so that took a little while because you can't... Uh, you can't learn that ability from Alluring Rider in uh, Gao's Rages. Um, you can't learn it from here. This only teaches Doom. And not level question mark holy. That only happens when a luring rider is alone. Um, so thankfully, uh, thankfully learned it there. All right. So that's all the lores that I believe Strago can learn right now. We've got 24, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, oh, 21 here. And there's three more that we will be learning in Kefka's Tower. Um, that's one... Uh, da, 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 da. that's one. What's the other ones? One. Okay, yeah, one, two. And then the last one. I, I don't want to say their names yet. It's not really spoiling things, I guess, but, um, let's see. Oh, okay. One, two, three. Hmm. Do they have the same name between the two versions? No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. Oh, there's only twenty-three listed in this, but there's twenty-four listed in the other one. Ah, okay, so there is some inconsistency between these two guides I'm looking at. Uh, regardless, I think... The 21 that we have, I mean, yeah, there's, there's 21 that we have right now, um, and I think that's all that we can get if there are any remaining ones. Uh, we will learn them in Kefka's Tower. Now, um, hopefully this only takes, uh, this, this whole trip has only taken like five minutes or so. Uh, next thing I want to do is I want to go and do some Colosseum battles. Um, it's a kind of a bit of a surprise, but I do want to get up to 10 Colosseum battles um, here. 
Um, so I'm going to go and change the party to uh, some of the more reliable uh, some of the more reliable uh, Colosseum entrants people who enter things uh, I want to unequip everyone now the issue is I've taught everyone like a huge amount of magic so uh, who knows this might be a bit of a throw just going here in the first place um, alright I'm gonna go and uh, Try this. I'm gonna go and bet Fuma Shuriken, I believe. This one's gonna be a hard one. So I'm just gonna try and have uh, Umaro out damage the Chaos Dragon. Oh, all right. I, I, I'm pleasantly surprised by that. Uh, um, you know what? I I need to do ten of these fights anyway. I'm gonna. Uh oh, Masamune. Did I want this? Hmm. Have one of these. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think Murakumo. Yeah, Murakumo is already better than Masamune. Um, uh, I'm just going to go and try this. Ouch. Alright. Come on, Numero. There we go. Alright. So, betting the Masamune will get a uh, Murakumo. Um... Alright. Now that we've got another Murakumo, we can't... We, I mean, I guess we could use two with uh, Sai and, like, dual wielding, but I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm going to go and bet the Murakumo. That we just got. For another Holy Lance. Oh, Sham Shear's annoying because it's just a demi spell. But hopefully, this is enough. Yep. Alright. Holy Lance. Alright, so now we have two of those one for Edgar, one for Mog, right? Uh, and then one of the last things. Well, okay, I want to I wanna go and uh, trade in quite a number of my Fuma Shurikens for pinwheels. Uh, do I? Wow, okay. Alright, I was not expecting to get Megas Rod there. Um, but I guess I did. Um, eh, it'll be, it'll, I think I'll be fine. Alright, so we're going to try this. And hopefully Edgar doesn't uh, use magic too much.
Oh, uh, shoot. I completely forgot that Edgar still has a... Uh... Well. Oh, no. It killed itself! It killed itself! Oh, my goodness. That's the most free cat ear hood ever. Um... The only one who can equip the cat ears hood is, uh... Realm? Is that better than anything else you can get? Circlet gives a little bit more strength and stamina. Same with red cap. Can I get more red caps? Beret. Oh, but Beret boosts, uh, sketch command. I'm gonna go and send, or I'm gonna go and bet. Um, something that I really haven't used a whole lot is this regal gown. Um, this can be equipped by Realm, but it's, frankly, it's just worse than the Behemoth suit. Like, in all aspects, the Behemoth suit beats it out. So, I'm gonna go and just give up the regal gown. Um... And I'm gonna hope that uh, Umaro uh, does well here. There we go. It casts Death. Death gets reflected with a Reflect Ring, and it kills itself. All right. And with that, we get the Minerva Bust Year. That is, I believe, the best uh, thing to equip on either Terra or um, uh, Celeste. Right? Just going and comparing it to other things. The white dress has one more magic than it. Um, yeah, it just... There's, there's no... There's no comparison. Minerva Busty Ear is, is one of the best things in the game. Uh, I'm going to go and remove it because I'm probably going to give it to Celeste because... I'm sorry, Terra. I love Celeste over you. And then the last thing I'm going to do is finish up with... Um, uh, Umaro with the... With the uh, Umaro has just been like winning all these fights, so I'm just going to go in and, and continue sending him in. Uh, I'm gonna go and now bet the uh, pinwheel. Uh, this is the thing that we got from the Fuma Shuriken. He's up against one of these guys. It's a joke. Um, oh, I should have taken the reflect ring off, but yeah, easy. Then we get a rising sun. A rising sun is a a weapon that uh, Locke can equip. Um, it's worse than the Wing Edge, which I think we can buy. Um, so, yeah, just not really. I, I I don't think it has any like. Let's let's just, just, just double check. Um, right, but. Um, Rising Sun. Yep, there's no like instant death attached to it. It's just simply attack, which is not worth it, right? Especially compared to this. Seven agility, seven strength too. Like this is just just a superior weapon. Frankly, I think this is the best weapon you could have on lock. Um, this will. I'll probably equip one of these onto him uh, when we go into the final uh, place. But anyway, so. I got the uh, Rising Sun, and I'm immediately going to uh, bet it for the next thing. So, where is it? It's way at the bottom now, isn't it? Rising Sun. All right, and then we get Bone Club, right? This is an item for Umaro. Oh, I just got an achievement for winning a, uh, yeah. But 
you can't equip Umaro with anything, so Bone Club's useless. So I'm gonna immediately turn around and uh, bet this. Um, well, I'm gonna go and equip Umaro differently. The Reflect Ring was good because the uh, Wear Dragon also has a. Uh, also has death as one of its attacks. Um, Umaro is just my go-to here in the Colosseum because he just there's such a high chance that it's just gonna go and do like massive physical damage. And as you can see, that's been working out for me so far. So, all right. So now let's go and bet the Bone Club. Boom, easy. And we get a second red jacket. So now we've got a red jacket for both uh, Edgar and for um, uh, for both Edgar and Sabin. So, um, you know, it's, it's kind of debatable. I'm going to be sticking the Genji armor on somebody else, which is why I'm going and, and getting the second... Uh, uh, my, while I'm getting these the second red jacket so that both of the Figaro brothers can equip one, right? Because now I have one for both of these guys. Right? So. Uh, it just just a little thing, right? I... I don't know. I, I, I rarely go into the Coliseum. It just I'm only doing this for... Oh, partially for completeness, right? You saw I got the achievement there. But I just... It's just, there, there's some things in here that are, that are pretty good. Um, Alright, so Moogle Suit, this might be a unique item, but it's worse than the Behemoth Suit in every single way. Yeah, so I think I'm okay giving up the Moogle Suit. Oh, yeah, you should not have done that, Cherry. You should not have done that. Okay, that kind of hurt, though. All right, Nutkin Suit. Let's see, is that any better than... Like, I, I don't even know if that was worth getting. I didn't see the stats on Nutkin Suit before I got it. Um, so we have Behemoth Suit here, and then Nutkin Suit is just worse. All right, well, I don't know. I got it anyway. There you go. Uh, give the Moogle Suit for Nutkin Suit. Um, yeah, I just, I don't see any, I mean, okay, so what I can do is get another Genji Armor. All right, so then I am going to uh, kind of wrap up this episode. There's, there's going to be a lot cut out from this, but the way I'm going to wrap up this episode is by equipping everyone um, with their... I, I don't want to like necessarily call it their best equipment, uh, but the equipment I'm going to have for when we take on Kafka's Tower, which is the next place we're going, or the place we're going in the next episode. That's right, I've basically gone and completed this game to as much as I want to um, in the in the overworld. So, um, first things first, I'm going to go into the ship and uh, take Umaro out of my party. Because Umaro, unfortunately, is not going to be joining us. Um, 
Gonna remove these from him then, because of that. I think everyone else is pretty much, uh... Yeah. Everyone else is pretty much naked. Um... Um, yeah, so... Da, 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 da. How do I want to do this? I'm actually going to probably equip everyone, um, and then show you what everyone is equipped with. And then, at the start of the next episode, I'm going to explain why I've uh, handled certain parties in certain ways. Um... Yeah. Alright, so I've gotten everyone equipped. I've gone and stayed over at whatever town that's called. And I am going to just hop in here. This is going to be... Uh, this is the end of the episode, pretty much. But I want to go and uh, organize the three parties that are going to be going in. And what better way to do that than to uh, show you how I'm going to do it. It's so time we take the battle to Kefka's doorstep. What's wrong? Celeste. The gods of the Warring Triad control the magic of the Esper world. If we destroy them, you're worried about what might happen. I can't say for sure, but... Espers, and even magic itself, could vanish from the world. And if that happens, what will happen to Terra? So, Kefka's Tower is going to involve three parties. Now, it's important to me that I go and stick Strago onto this first uh, group, because there's one boss that this group will have to go up against um, that has a uh, lore for Strago to learn. Whew, excuse me. Um... With these two, I'm going to go and include Shadow. And then to round off the group, I'm going to go stick Mog on here. The second group, I'm going to go and start with Terra. Edgar, Sabin are going to be there, and then Gao is going to round off that group. The last group is going to have Celeste and Locke. Cyan and Setzer. Now the reason rationale is the first one is I want to separate the three girls because they are far and away the best like magic dealing characters uh, in the game. You know, Strago is is up there as well, but I mean I'll I'll, I'll let, let I'll go and explain you know all of the the group settings once I. Explain their armor as well, so. Right, so that's group one. Group two. And group three. So press the L button to switch between the three parties, of course. So. This is group one. I'm going to go and switch a couple people into the back row. So, this is how everyone is equipped. Strago has two earrings. He is a magic glass cannon, basically. Uh, that's really just what it comes down to. I've gone and got his magic up to 83. Uh, he's just going to be doing magic damage, and he's going to be eating up a lot of MP, but... I mean, that's that's what he's going to be doing. Uh, Realm is going to be kind of both a lifeline and magic damage dealer as well. Uh, the Cat Ear Hood actually uh, halves damage from multiple elements, so that's why I didn't go and stick the Force Armor uh, on anyone. She's going to... I don't want to call her a tank, but she's going to be uh, kind of in the back. As you can see, she's got some decent magic evasion and evasion from the Genji Shield, I believe. Uh, gives her all of this, yeah. So, um, I don't know. She's just based on survivability for the group uh, before damage. I've got the Magus Rod on her instead of the Magical Brush because I don't expect to be sketching too much. Um, yeah. 
And then you have Shadow. Shadow is 98% physical evasion. Um, I don't want to call him a glass cannon, but as you can see, he he's he's based purely around the evasion stat. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> that's really what it comes down to. Uh, I I don't really know what to do with his shadow. Maybe he'll be throwing uh, shurikens and stuff. Mog is equipped as a dragoon. Uh, I've got one of the holy lances on him. Uh, Drago dragon horn and dragoon boots. Golden shields. I've got something better than golden shield, right? I'll go stick the flame shield on him. Yeah. Um, that's that's really what it comes down to. Um, and you know, if I come across some some enemy that deals a lot of earth damage or some boss that deals a lot of earth damage, I might you know swap out everyone for guy gear and stuff like that. You know, it's, I'm not gonna go and say, oh, these are set in stone and no one's ever gonna you know, change, uh, um, like nothing's ever going to change. Uh, so the next party is Terra, Edgar, Sabin, and Gao. I'm going to go and send Terra into the back row. Uh, Terra's got the Enhancer on. Definitely not, uh, as good of a weapon as I could have gotten, but you know, it just gives her so much magic. Plus seven magic, it's it's so good. Uh, Paladin shields. She's got the Celeste Triad on, uh, so she is gonna be you know healing, doing a lot of you know magic damage stuff like that. This group is like the least magically inclined of all the groups that I have, so that's why I've kind of stuck to Celeste Triad on Terra uh, to kind of be a lifeline for them. And then of course she's got the ribbon. Uh, I think, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Realm's got the ribbon as well, so just status effect evasion. Um, I've got a Genji glove on Sabin, Tiger Fang, and Dragon Claws, but frankly, he's probably going to be doing quite a bit of, uh, um, what do you call him? Uh, blitzes instead. Sabin at this point, though, with the hyper wrist on, he's got 87 strength and 79 magic. Like, Saban's just all around very, very strong. Uh, Edgar, I've stuck Zansat Sukin on him. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of, um, and then Royal Crown because he's a king. You know, he's, he's the king. That's why he gets the crown. Uh, safety bit, just to kind of help with survivability and Hermes sandals to go and help with offense. Kind of just balanced all around, uh, for Edgar. Uh, Sabin, like, I, I don't know what I'm going for here. Sabin just does a lot of damage. His attack is 255, like, ridiculous. Um, Gao is a little bit more defensive than usual. I've got both the Peace Ring and the Amulet on him just to prevent any, uh, I don't want his rage is getting taken advantage of, basically. So, he's just avoid avoid status effects without sticking a ribbon on him. That that's what Gao is. Um, Black Cow, I think, adds to his evasion. No. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why I would. I'm losing one defense and gaining a number of other boosts. I'm going to do that. Alright, uh, so that's this party. And then the last one is Celeste, Locke, Cyan, and Setzer. Celeste is a little bit more of a, I don't want to call her a glass cannon, but she's more uh, offensively, uh, offensively, like, facing than, than I normally would, you know, make her. Um, as you can see, her MP has hit 800, basically, and that's because the Minerva Bustier, 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 just gives a 25% bonus to maximum MP, like, that just, I, I just had to go and, and make her, uh, make her a damage 
dealer if she's going to have 25% more magic MP. That's why I stuck the gold hairpin on her instead of the Celeste Triad. I was originally going to have the Celeste Triad on her, but if she's going to have the Minerva Bustier, which is giving her more MP, I, I think these two, gold hairpin just having things, but also doing twice as much, like, I just, I just think this is the best. I definitely favored her. I gave her Ultima Weapon 2, even though she's only going to be doing magic stuff. I love Celeste. This is why she has. This is why she's equipped the way she is. Locke has Wing Edge, Thief Racer, Brigand's Glove, so he's just Thief full and full. I've given him a bunch of uh, Force stuff though, and the Red Cap gives him a little bit more HP. This is just magic survivability, insane magic survivability, and then a little bit of just HP on top. Cyan also has a Genji Glove. Um, even though I'm probably just going to be doing, uh, I don't know why I chose to do this. Right, I've learned all the Bushido, yeah, so I'm probably just going to be doing Bushidos and maybe, maybe Tempest. I don't think Tempest takes advantage of, uh, dual wield. Um, maybe it does. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. I just, I don't really know what to do with Cyan. And then Setzer... Um, is equipped as so. Dice, Master Scroll plus Dice is just too good for me to pass up. He's got the ribbon on in this party, so he's going to be the one that kind of helps out with uh, status effects and or healing status effects and stuff like that. So That's how I've got the parties. I didn't bring a, either Umaro or Gogo through because they're kind of... I mean, they are the most... Excuse me. Most optional characters in the game. And I just I felt like these twelve deserve uh, the slots that they're getting. Anyway, I know I just arrived here, but I'm gonna call here the end of the episode. Um, this is gonna this is kind of just the end of the preparation. I've kind of equipped everyone as I want, and in the next episode we are gonna push ahead into Kefka's Tower. I will see you guys then.